Hey everyone, I'm Dominic from Calconic, and today I'll be showing you how to build an instant price quote calculator. Right, so for, for this particular example, I'm going to be doing a cleaning service calculator, but you're really not limited to this example alone. You can really follow along and do just about anything else you'd like. So, all right, let's, let's start in that case. Let's create a new calculator here and, and give it a meaningful title. So I've got that prepared in advance. Let me just quickly copy and paste that. There we go. Uh, that's under settings here, calculator title. Or you could just basically click on the title, it'll take you there. So let's copy and paste that. All right, so get an instant quote for our cleaning service. A bit long perhaps, but to the point and meaningful. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's actually describe uh, what the base service should probably consist of. So the first thing that comes to my mind would be something like cleaning the floors, dusting furniture, scrubbing sinks, tubs, showers, so, or to generalize the bathroom perhaps, and emptying the trash cans. So, all right, let's actually, let's actually list that, list that base service here on the calculator. And I'm gonna use an information field here, field here, and let me just quickly go ahead and copy paste the options that I have here prepared. There we go, yeah, that's neat. Here we go, now we have the information here available easily. And um, actually, let's give it a title too, so it doesn't say information up here. Let me just call it something like, let us take care of your home. There we go, that's neat. All right, now we have something meaningful, meaningful information on the calculator itself. And this basically is the base service, what we offer. Um, we'll be adding the additional services a bit later on, so this will do for now. All right. Um, let's see, so the first thing, that, another thing that comes to mind or other, uh, when it comes to cleaning service calculators or like a cleaning service in general, um, would be like, it's a recurring service, isn't it? Like you could have like a one-off cleaning, but I guess for this example, we'll be doing a recurring service. All right, so uh, for, for this particular service we, uh, thing, we could probably use like a select field. It's doesn't take up much space and like you can have multiple options available for the user to select. All right, let's see. So let's define our recurring service here. Let's uh, give it a give it a title. Let's give it a title here. I have it ready. Copy and paste that. How often do you need our cleaning service? Well, I think that's pretty neat. Um, let's define some options here in this case. So the first option is already available here. So let's just click it and rename it from option one to, let's say something like every week all right that's neat um one dollar is probably not enough for like a cleaning service every week let's say something like 95 dollars right cool so now when this option is selected um the user will be uh indicating which which service they want to want to go with really so let's see uh let's add more options in this case so let's add a second option um I think the other option could be called something like every two weeks. Um, let's make it that make that a little bit more expensive, as it's not as convenient for us as business-wise. So let's say if you're if you want the service, if you want the cleaning service done every two weeks, uh, let's say it costs something like hundred and five dollars. And let's add another option actually. Uh, let's call it every four weeks. So pretty much once a month, really. And let's let's say it costs something like hundred twenty-five dollars. All right, there we go. Now we have these services available here that the user can click and select, all right? Like we can also go into the preview and see it here too. All right, so that's pretty neat. Let, let me quickly save the calculator just in case. All right, so now we should probably output something for the user so they can see what the price is of the current service of whatever they selected. So for this for this purpose, I'll use a formula here. Okay, there you go. Um, actually, we should probably change the title to something like, um, total cleaning price or to yeah i think that's fine actually um let's actually output the selection for like the service frequency so our service frequency reference is number one so we can go ahead and um just put that in here in the uh in the formula editor and that will change the value here to 95 so that's pretty cool um actually i, sh I think we should also add a prefix here let's add a dollar sign so it's a little bit more clear right away as to what this number is. So $95, pretty sweet. So if we go into a preview here, we can select the different services and the price will change accordingly. All right, there we go, let's set it back to every week. Neat. All right, so we have 
like the base service and our frequency, like the service frequency, I think we should define some additional services. So what could those additional services be? I'm thinking something like cleaning the fridge perhaps, since I'm not a fan of cleaning the fridge myself, or it's a lot of work, it's messy. Uh, cleaning the oven maybe perhaps as well, and that's also one of those things that I don't really like doing at home. And perhaps cleaning the windows, not everyone has time to clean the windows. So let's actually define those services on the calculator itself. All right, let's add more elements. So let's see, what, what, what could be suitable here? I'm thinking checkbox. Yeah, checkbox probably makes the most sense. Um, let's, I don't think we need the label since the checkbox name itself is self-explanatory. So the label is really unnecessary in our case. Or we could keep the label actually and call it additional ser services for this particular checkbox. Um, let's give it a name too. Oh, cleaning the fridge. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. Um, what should the uh, what should the additional service cost? I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of cleaning the fridges. As I said, it's super messy. So um, what I'm gonna do is let's say it's gonna it's gonna cost fifty five dollars extra, since it's one of those things that's really not fun to do. All right, let's actually duplicate this element here. There we go. Let's switch off the label and give it a different name. Uh, what was the other service? Uh, cleaning the oven. I think that was, right? And somehow that's even worse than cleaning the fridge. So let's make it a bit more expensive than cleaning the fridge. All right, so let's say $65 here. Oh, and I should mention like the check values when the user actually checks the checkbox, like this is what it'll output, like 65. And check value is gonna be zero since well, if you don't, if you haven't selected the additional service, you really shouldn't pay anything anything extra for it, right? All right, we could also like have them be checked by default, but we're not gonna be doing that here. All right, um, what was the third additional service I was talking about? Um, I think that was cleaning the windows. Oh yeah, that's right. So let's let's duplicate this element here. All right, number five, and uh, let's let's say cleaning the windows is not that bad. So let's let's make it like thirty five dollars or something. I could like switch it to check on by default or not. So, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, let's rearrange these since it would make sense for these to be uh, above the actual output, um, the, the total price, right? So let's, let me just drag it here. There we go. And now we should update the formula. So let's see, um, what's the reference for our additional services? Three, four, and five. So let's do a simple addition here. 1 plus 3 plus element 4 plus element 5. There we go. Cool. Let's go into preview and quickly take a look at it. All right, so let's say we we want like a weekly cleaning service and we have our additional services here and that reflects in the price right away. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? There we go. So that's, that's set up. Uh, what else we could do? I think we could also provide the user with the ability to so like how many, for example, how many windows? Oh, damn, I'm, I'm, I made a mistake here. Um, I actually should have renamed this to cleaning windows. There we go. All right, that's fixed. So anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, like we could provide additional options. For example, if the user wants to, like perhaps the user doesn't want all of the windows in the, in the building clean, perhaps it's too expensive for them. They want only some of the windows clean, so we could, we could uh, provide them with the option to select how many of the windows they want to they want clean, but we're not going to be doing that for this video. Let's let's keep it simple here. All right. Uh, let's see now. What else? Let's add more options to the calculator here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking here. Uh, based on different like different size of the apartment, based on how many rooms you have, the price should differ. So for that. For that reason, I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to be using a slider here and allow the user to select how big their apartment is. Okay, like let me just go ahead and copy paste the title again. There we go. How big is your apartment? Let's call it. So right now the default selection is between zero and hundred. Well, no one has zero. Well, I guess some people have zero rooms, but that's not the point. Um, well, let's say let's change the values here a little bit. Like for for this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna set it to something something sensible. So let's say between one and five rooms. 
and we'll allow the user to select that. Oh, and let's update the uh, slider scale here. Here, so one, two, three, four, and five. So that's easily visible. Here we go. There is a bunch of other options, but we're not gonna concern ourselves with that right now. So let's let's leave it as it is. So by default, like one room is gonna be selected because that's the default. That's what comes into the base service, I suppose. Like we're we're gonna clean one room as a base service. All right, there we go. So let's update the formula now. Actually, All right. So this is gonna be neat right now. So we have our base service, which is number one. Uh, we have any additional services that we might have, and now we need to account for any extra rooms here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do addition again, but right now instead of like just adding the input of the uh, of the slider, what I'm going to do is the following. What what reference is for the number six? All right, there we go. The slider is number six minus one. Um, the reason for that is that the first room is part of the base service, so we really don't need to charge extra for it. So basically, if it's one and we take away one, so it's going to be zero. It's not going to add anything extra to it, and we're going to multiply it by, let's say, like additional rooms is $18 extra here. So the selection of how many rooms multiplied by $18. There we go. And we can quickly take a look, take a look in, at our preview here and see how that works. So if I want to change this, the scale here or like the, the selection here, you can see it reflected instantly in the, in the price here. There we go. So we have a fully working calculator here. So that's pretty useful, but not useful enough perhaps. We could make it even more useful. Uh, let's let's add a way to capture leads here. What I'm going to use is, uh, yeah, an order form. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, the order form allows you to capture leads, uh, collect more information. Basically, what it'll do it'll like once once the user submits their details. Uh, for, for the cleaning service, uh, the calculator will send through all the information that was selected here to you. Um, you'll be able to book an appointment with the user. So sounds pretty sounds pretty cool. So what we should do is probably change the name on the button here. Let's not call it order. Let's call it something like book a cleaning. See how it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Okay, and let's add some fields to our to our order form here. Uh, you'll be able to see them once once we're done with that. But um, basically, the order form can take multiple fields here, and um, let's 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 have the user provide provide their name, de like their name, their email address, their 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 address in general, and perhaps any additional information that that they want to that, that they want to send us. So let's do that. Let's add our first field here. As you can see, it's pretty much the same as what we had in our select field, basically multiple options here. So let's open that up and change some information here. Okay, let's call it name. All right, then it's gonna be a simple text field. Let's make it required. I kind of wanna know whom to address. So let's, let's call it name. And let's change the placeholder to error message. Um, you can change the error message. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I have no idea what 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 could I, I output here, but like you, you can you can put whatever you want here. All right, so we have the name field. What else? Uh, I think I mentioned e oh yeah, that's right, email. Okay, email. There we go. Oh, okay, I scrolled by accident. So let's uh, let's set it to an email field type. Uh, let's change the placeholder as well. Okay, cool. Let's add another field. Close that. Uh, what else? Address. Yes, that's important. Let's make it a simple text field here. Address. Okay, cool. And let's add the final field. Additional information. I think we should call it additional. Oh, additional information. Let's uh, let's make it a text area. It's going to be like one of those bigger boxes where you can add more information into. Easier to format. So I think that's pretty useful. Additional information there we go okay neat okay let's preview it let's quickly take a look so if i click on that right now as you can see um the calculator gets an overlay with the form so you can put the name here the email address um 
the address itself as to where you're located and any additional information and then book a cleaning. So pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty useful. Uh, all right, so there we go. We have a fully functional calculator in this case. In this case, well, this is all well and good, but I think it can always be improved. So I think what we should do well, let's 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 make the calculator a little bit more expressive. I suppose we could call it. Let's say we have the additional uh, services here, but they do not really indicate the additional like what, what the extra cost for those additional services. Is services is so I think it would be nice for us to be to to actually show show our users what the additional cost for the for additional services is so let's say clean in the fridge oh I'm doing like I'm changing the wrong value here clean in the fridge what we could do is just list the uh, plus 55 here we go and I'm cleaning the oven what's that $65 extra so $65 extra, cleaning the windows would be, okay, that's uh, $35 extra, Ooh, not five, 35, not 45, 35, there we go, all right, so that's pretty neat, that's way more transparent now as to, as to what your, like what the service consists of, and uh, we could actually make the calculator a little bit more persuasive, I'm thinking, all right, let's see, what can we do? Um, let's see, we should offer our users a first time use discount perhaps. So let's actually add another information field which will function as, well, basically which will, it will, it will list, uh, it will, it will provide the information that saying that you can get a first time use discount. So let's do that. Uh, let me see here. I have it ready. So let me just copy and paste. Here we go, get up to 30% personal discount for this first cleaning. I'm feeling generous, 30%, I think that's fine. I get the users interested into, into my service here. And we don't need the label in this case, so let me just switch it off and move the uh, information field here up a little bit. So it's just above above the, uh, um, the lead capture order form here. There we go. So that's, I think that's fine, I think, I think this is a pretty good calculator. It's um, it allows you to select the service frequency, additional services, it outputs the information straight away. So that's sweet. All right. So what else we could do? We could spruce it up a little bit. Uh, we could change the style for the element. There is a bunch of custom, like a bunch of options in general that you could go through for each of the elements here. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the pre-made themes and palettes here. Um, let's see, let's let's set it to something like simple. As you can see, it changed the padding a little bit, like it made it made it a little bit neater, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I want my calculator looking a little bit more like out there. So let's use one of the palettes here. Um I'm thinking this one, why not? Oh, that looks pretty neat. There we go. Um here we have it. A um a cleaning service instant quote price calculator. It's pretty great. Uh, it allows for instant gratification, quick way to connect to people instantly, really, um, provide price transparency. So that's pretty sweet. And you can actually get that done, all of that done with Calconic. Um, if you're interested, you can check out the sign up link in the video description. Sign up, check it out. It's free, uh, absolutely free, no credit card required or anything. So you can just sign up and get going right away. So that's been great. So thank you for watching the video. Um, until next time.